question we can uh, discuss uh, something is it fine yeah i hope my screen is visible to you yes yes yeah uh my query is you don't have uh, the software in your machine so that we can see the interface and all like how it is yeah first is... i i'll show you that also first i'll give a okay. brief presentation okay. and some of the capabilities yes. then i'll tell you i'll go through inside the software and tell you what are the libraries we have and yes. uh, where you can use yes please please if you ask uh, what is a flonex flonex is uh, basically a 1d cfd tool where you can perform at once the more dynamics and the fluid uh, dynamics problems and also various applications it has a wide range of applications in the area of aerospace energy energy production like uh, fuel cell electrolysis various other things then it works on the system level and it has a very advanced fluid models like compressible gases to phase fluids combustion library then it has a control library with, along with the analog as, as well as the digital control systems if you want to control any valves by using electrical manner or using any distributed control systems those libraries also we have then we have a integrate uh, a integration feature that is api where we can integrate with the other third party software like like uh, this is a 1d cfd tool this 1d will be having some of the desired uh, some of the limitations and uh, then ansys will be having some of the limitations to overcome those 1d and 3d those things we will be coupling with the ansys with the uh, flonex and we can for the advanced controlling part we can uh, uh, integrate with the matlab simulink and also we have option called uh, excel excel integration and coming to the accreditation part this flonex is accredited by nuclear quality assurance and it will, it will uh, the this flonex has been uh, conducted with various tests so we have got the nuclear quality assurance which ensure the best standards of quality compliance then the uh, approach coming to the flonex approach it is basically works on three principles that is mass conservation momentum conservation and the energy conservation then we have a conservation of uh, this uh, flonex is bas uh, basically is capable of doing both the steady state as well as the transit analysis and you can assign various fluid properties like compressibility temperature pressure viscosity along with the dry bulb temperature that is psychometric properties like dry bulb temperature specific humidity you can model the two phase models also single phase models also in the flonex then coming to the if you, if anyone ask like what is the flonex flonex is a predominantly to simulate flow in the one direction and here the heat transfer algorithm is used in two dimensional for, based upon the varying sizes and its complexity this flonex is capable of doing both the steady state as well as the transient behavior then coming to the oem part entech industrial is the oem company where it has been established in 1983 and around 2000 this software has been fully established for the commercial purposes and coming to capabilities like from simple model to the complex simple pipe model by giving a boundary conditions at the inlet and the outlet from simple pipe flow model to complex system simulations like nuclear um, nuclear power plants electrolysis power plants or huge heat exchangers can be done and can be analyzed you will be getting the results accurately in flonex then commissioning assistance is possible then the technical feasibility this flonex has high feasibility in nature so the modifications will be very easy in the in the this 1d cfd tool then for any analysis like thermal analysis like heat transfer analysis heat exchanger analysis can be done and some hydraulic designs like single acting cylinder double acting cylinder those can also be done in flonex and then coming to the system optimization part here yeah, for uh, for designing any plant uh, you, you need to optimize some of the parameters for example you are expecting some of the output already you will be having some of the uh, you are expecting some of the output but that design will not be providing that much output for that you can optimize your uh, optimize that design 
the can be done, the optimization of the design can be done easily in the flow next uh, we have an algorithm for optimization using those algorithms the optimization will be very easy and uh, you will be getting accurate results and the design will be optimized for your specified output then we have investigative simulations like uh, if you have to determine the poor design or poor operating conditions you can uh, use this flonex then we have a concept design based upon the geometrical properties based upon the thermal resistance network based upon the heat transfer conduction heat transfer will be designing entire thing like this then we have a root cause analysis like system component failure to uh, to know where, where that component failure is happening will be used that can be analyzed in Flonex, then component performance assessment can be done by using various graphs. Then coming to some of the key technologies like we have incompressible fluid networks, two-phase fluids, you can do the incondensable, we have a slurry mixtures also, gas mixtures as well as the heat transfer. Some of the libraries we have like thermal, mechanical, control and electrical systems and uh, this is extremely fast you can uh, this this computational time is very less compared to other 3d softwares and also some of the other open source 1d softwares also then we have a flonex as a for learning content when you install the software uh, the, uh, all you need to learn uh, will be wondering that how to learn this software no need to panic regarding that we have around the 48 pdf based networks and some of the 28 video based networks these are very much sufficient these are uh, these pdfs are explained in detail if you follow these tutorials you will be learning flonex and you will be knowing what are its capabilities and you can use uh, this flonex you will be ready after doing all these tutorials you will be ready for your uh, to build your own network and can be analyzed in your area of application then these layers we have some of the component libraries like ANSYS coupling, Excel, MathCAD, OPC, client server. These things I will be discussing in detail when I will be going through the uh, GUI of the software where I will be telling what are the libraries we have, what are its applications, everything I will be telling there. Then we have a charts and tables as well as the integrate. These are some of the solvers we have in the Flonex. Then this is an example of a custom component. Uh, custom component means that yeah, for example you don't have any component th that component you want to add any equations to that uh, that you can add it over here in the small script part that can be added and can be saved in the custom database and for further applications no need to again calculate manually automatically you you, you have stored the, all the once again all the equations over here in the script part and can be drag and drop in the canvas and can be used in your uh, for further application that's why we in flonex we have also uh, advantage of regarding the customizing to the components and also you can customize the components for example you don't have any component in for your respective use for that you can customize by using the basic elements what we have and you can be saved in the custom database and can be say, uh, used for your applications further Then we have advanced fluid mixtures like mixed fluids, pure fluids, solids, trace element as well as the two-phase fluids. Then we have add, uh, advanced fluid materials which will in the properties like density, viscosity, conductivity, bulk modulus, surface tension. And uh, coming to the integration, I initially in the first slide I was telling about the integration. Here you can integrate with the MATLAB, ANSYS mechanical as well as the CFX fluent, engineering equation solver, MathCAD and also Excel. Excel integration will be done by using a small uh, the program that is a VBA code where you can integrate all the inputs and the outputs to the Excel and once the model is fixed if it is a complex model no need to go to the Flonex again just go to the here and run in the Excel sheet by using a small button over there and and you can uh, just uh, you will be getting all the results in the Excel sheet itself that also we have that feature also we have that is known as API and uh, we have a secondary loss database pipe roughness database mainly to determine the pressure drop over here to uh, capture the accurate pressure drop 
then the conventional method of modeling is like a drag and drop that you'll be knowing in a few minutes and the advanced modeling like uh, you can also use the python as a, a, or c sharp for the modeling for example here we have a add components to the view on the page this uh, this uh, command will help help in uh, adding the components in that page and this link components command will be linking uh, will be helpful in linking the components like blade model one node one rcl one one automatically by this command this blade model one node one rcl one all the components will be linked automatically like that you can build discretize each each model and like that way you can build the entire component over here then some of the uh, now i'll be telling some of the advanced systems that can be done in the flonix first one is super critical co2 can be done then uh, hydrogen fuel cell this is an example of a pim fuel cell that is proton exchange membrane fuel cell that that has been uh, done the modeling has been done in the flonix and been analyzed in the flonix itself uh, based upon this uh, what is the stack power with in with respect to time that is transient anal analysis has been done here then prime fuel cell humidifier has been done then uh, alkaline water electrolysis to separate hydrogen and uh, oxygen uh, those things regarding those applications then electrolysis cycle is, has been done in the flonex then carbon capture things and uh, this is a combustion has also been done for example here we have i'll be telling now like how we'll be modeling the flonex for example this is a duct element of that equivalent area will be applying a flow element over there uh, will be flow element and will be implementing what are the uh, uh, this thing fluid uh, is work. for example here will be apply assigning a fluid as a hair over there and here you can see a gap over here there will be for this gap there will be some restriction for the flow hence will be we are using a restrictor element over here like that way we have to capture each each discretized component and each geometrical data based upon that we will be modeling and for that basic flow modeling we will be going to we will be adding all the heat transfer elements based upon that whether it is convection conduction radiation based upon the application and based upon the conduction heat transfer things we will be applying all the, those things over here and uh, this is a small discretized part over here and uh, similarly we'll be discretizing other things and we'll be discretizing entire thing and we'll be connected to a single boundary conditions and we'll be analyzing in terms of what is the heat transfer rate pressure drop velocity we'll be getting all the properties directly in mind and uh, some of the test cases we have done in terms of uh, benchmark test cases that is regarding what is the t in lead t in lead based upon the measured as with the flonex results of the combustor and you can also design the secondary flow path design where you'll be having some of the rotating components you can use this force vortex free vortex lebrin seal rotating annual gap rotating channel these can things can be used if you have any rotating components for example if you have any duct rotating you can use the rotating channel as well as the rotating nozzle for to model any generators you can use the rotor rotor cavity as well as the rotor stator cavity if you have a if you want to mention anything uh, gap between the rotor and the st stator you can use the rot rotor annual gap as well as the labyrinth if there is any force vortex flow free vortex you can use these elements and uh, this is how we will be modeling and these are uh, the description of various rotating components and uh, coming to the coupling part here you can see this is a model that has been done in the flonex and this is an api tool where you will be uh, where we'll be performing where we'll be uh, performing uh, all the api part over here here we'll be providing all the inputs from the flonex itself and will be uh, and will be giving all the inputs from the flonex to the ansys and will be getting all the results from the ansys to the flonex like that way uh, if you if you want to see any behavior in a 3d manner we'll be doing the coupling or if you want to do the same model of the structure analysis you can see you can link with the ansys mechanical uh, and uh, the structure analysis can be done by coupling like this and we have a data center HVAC system where we can do the thermal analysis over there. And this is an example of that, uh, how we'll be linking. And uh, here, the first, this is a Flonex model. 
and that is been coupled with the ANSYS and will be getting the results in terms of the structural as well as the fluid and uh, uh, the fluid flow in a 3D manner we can use by use coupling part so on next ANSYS and uh, we can uh, in the couple with the MATLAB here you can see that this is a Flonex part and this is a MATLAB part for the advanced controlling things we'll be using this uh, Flonex MATLAB coupling and the pipe stress analysis can be imported by using piping component PCF DXF these are uh, the, the importers that has been uh, that are available in the Flonex and pipe stress analysis that is a ROR file we can import that and can be pipe stress analysis can be done using a Caesar and for the digital twin digital twin is also one of the advanced things we have like this is an a component that has been used uh, for the digital twin purpose in the flow next and i'll be telling what is the digital twin that the digital twin is mainly to integrate with to communicate with the physical system here you can see this is a physical system where we'll be implementing all the real sensors of that and uh, based upon the, that real sensors will be giving communicating with this Flonex software and will be getting all the properties and entire behavior of this physical system here in the Flonex itself no need to go to there and check with uh, some of the pressure gauge no need to do that once we, we have a OPC client server and digital twin is possible in the Flonex. Then uh, this is an example of a uh, supercritical CO2 Brayton cycle and this is a digital twin part where we have been performed in uh, for Indian Institute of Science. Uh, they are, uh, still they are using this lab here we have integrated with the lab view as well as the uh, Flonex and we have been uh, integrated with the physical system we'll be getting all the results here based upon the physical system using lab view and the uh, flonex and coming to the areas of applications gas turbines for any combustion regarding things if there is any combustion uh, combustor part we can you we can model the combustion modeling those combustion modeling is also possible in the flonex then nuclear power plants, supercritical CO2, space, uh, space flight like RS-25 engine, RL-10 RL engine, those has been already done and can be analyzed easily in the Flonex. Then for the hydrogen fuel cell as well as the electrolysis part, the for thermal analysis of the data centers over there, then aerospace part, general industries, then HVAC like indirect operating cooling system, heat exchanger, shell and tube heat exchanger can be easily done analyzed for here in the Flonex then for understanding the academic purpose then for understanding the various principles like Joel Thompson effect Bernoulli's principle or if you if any student is uh, doing any research projects that can be done easily and you can publish a very good paper from the, the, using this software sir anyone has any doubts here till now the, uh, the about the presentation of the Flonex uh, not really you just finish your ppt uh, then we will discuss no i have uh, finished the ppt ppt part okay. now i'll be going into the into the software if, if okay. anyone has any doubts he can ask uh, see some are the some of the doubts are uh, might get cleared while looking at the interface gun or also yes, you just yes. please finish uh, entire okay. presentation then we will okay. discuss okay, okay. Okay, this is the GUI of the software. This will be uh, when you open the software. This is how it looks. And uh, now I'll be telling what are the libraries we have. We have a distributed control systems. We have analog components. Uh, we have a controllers like PID controller valve. This will be mainly useful when you want to control some of the mass flow rate through any valve. We'll be using these controllers, filters, math switches, everything. Then we have electrical components like capacitor, impedance, induction motor, inductor, resistor, as well as a transformer part. And we have a nodes to connect between the uh, these things. Electrical components. We have some of the sources like voltage source. Then we have a switches part over here. Then we have a flow solver. This is our main area of interest and our media will be performing so many things regarding thermal analysis, fluid analysis here using this library, flow solver. For example, here we have a chemical reactions part like CA adiabatic flame and the CA Gibbs reactor. 
these are mainly useful when we when there is a combustion occurring when the, whenever there is a combustion we'll be using the ca adiabatic flame and ca gibbs reactor this will be telling us that what is the output for example i i uh, for example hydrogen and oxygen are, is uh, is involved in the combustion we'll be getting what is the hso mass fraction uh, hydrogen mass fraction output will be having some of the chemical reactions output all the mass fraction along with the end temperature what is the end temperature after the combustion we'll be getting all these things by using the ca adiabatic flame and ca gibbs reactor part then we have a containers like accumulator to mean that to it is like a pressure reducing device and for container interface bottom and container interface this should be used in a both manner like for example uh like this like this this uh, this will be helpful in the application when you have a different fluid at some at the top of the tank as well as the bottom of the tank which is separated some of the diaphragm uh, in those type of applications you will be using this container interface bottom and the container interface top and we have a open container if there is any fluid having the influence of the atmospheric pressure then we'll be using this open container as a or it's a vented container this is a normal reservoir and this two phase tank uh, two phase tank can also be used for two phase modeling and uh, if you want to uh, model this two, two phase tank can also be modeled as a boiler by giving a heat input or else it also works as an a uh, uh, condenser over here for example i'll be telling if you give the heat input it works as a boiler here and if you give as a heat rejection over here it works as a condenser those things you can plan it over here for various applications and for any two phase modeling if you want to store any fluids like in two phase fluids you can use this two phase tank and we have a custom losses custom losses is made these custom losses is mainly useful for the pressure drop modeling for example in the rs25 nuclear rocket engine the pressure drop modeling plays a very key role over here for example this is a flow resistance element pressure drop modeling will be calculate will be calculating all the flow admittance value over here that is flow admittance value can be calculated by knowing the what is the pressure drop over there uh, if you know the pressure drop already we will be calculating the flow admittance and will be giving the all the flow admittance value over here and will be getting the results in terms of pressure temperature total mass flow other things these th these uh, flow custom losses element are mainly useful for the pressure drop modeling if you know all the if you know the what is the pressure drop you can use this flow resistance and you can calculate the admittance value using the formula that is a m square by delta p and you can perform all the other things and this is secondary loss if there is a, if you want to mention any like uh, if there is any is a bent a 90 degree bent or if there is any rf phase value of those secondary losses you can use these elements and we have a uh, differential flow parameters like uh, venturi meter or phase meter various other things uh, to measure to maintain uh, to uh, determine the flow rate over here different types of vena contrast sections regarding those applications then we have a discharge nozzles like exist thrust nozzle and the nozzle part this uh, two mainly this will be used in the new uh, designing the nuclear rocket engines and we have a miller valves and we have a duct parts like you can see here cross junction part cross junction part is mainly useful when you have a four uh, four lines connecting at a single junction to capture the proper pressure drop data will be and uh, using this cross junction t junction as well as the y junction this entire duct will be mainly uh, when mainly appl appl applicable for the only for the gases flow not for the fluid flow and uh, for transition element you can use whenever you have a different inlet area and a different outlet area then we have a flow distributor stay junction y junction that is similar to the junction part what i have explained now in the like here in the cross junction then we have a heat exchanger part for example i, I want to tell you more about this bulk air cooler this bulk air cooler is a it for you for instance right now it is looking like a single component but it is a customized one once i go go inside that bulk air cooler this is the principle what is happening yeah for uh, equations to be solved if any formulas to be solved inside we'll be using this script part over there and we'll be giving all the inputs over here and if you want to transfer any data from one component to the script part 
we'll be using this uh, data transfer part and for the pressure drop modeling we'll be using this flow admittance values as i said in the pressure drop modeling and like this we will be creating the uh, will be creating the entire component working based upon its physics and we'll be saving in the uh, project database here you can see now here we have a two database that is project database as well as the master database this project database will be using for our own customization component that whatever i said now like this will be customizing our component and can be saved here in the Uh, in the project database like for example i'll be telling i'll be adding a new library here uh, for example i'll be adding a display name of this you can select to your own picture i edit library okay library. new compound item i need to add you can give anything for this i'll be adding a edit you can add it over here like based upon the physics and what are the formulas for example i'll be adding now one component E transfer component to here okay and i'll be closing all the inputs and the outputs using this fiber exposures and uh, this is safe oh yeah now the compound component has been created okay uh, now the entire component component is created and for further your own applications second for further applications just drag and drop those element and you can uh, go inside that this is your customized element this is how you will be creating all the things and this is so easy like uh, you just add the component and uh, you if you want to control any parameters like input and output you uh, that also can be done here for example you go to here and if you component compound setup and you can go to the compound setup here and i need this upstream like uh, i need to give what is length just drag and drop done see here length will be added if any other things you can add just add it over here and you will be having inside that you will be having some of the components that you need to be fixed uh, for those components for that the constant components no need to add over here whatever you need to change instantaneously by giving this input for example length you want to change you can give it over here like that you can uh, customize your own component sir anyone has any doubt in customization part so you can add components and form a system right let's say i want to add uh, something to this component so we yeah, can you can add yeah oh, one second i'll i'll be doing that also yeah you can, for example i need to add another component for example uh, this is different component for example damper i need to use i'll be connecting to here deleting this and i'll be giving that and close those things and save okay, and so the direction direction also can be given right? yeah direction whatever the direction you are choosing in your uh, application you can use that and what if my component is not in your library let's say it's not listed here so can i it's create it's not listed yeah like that what i what i have done here like that you can create your own component and can be saved here for further okay. applications just uh, go to the project database whatever the customization you have done just uh, use this uh, drag and drop okay but what about the equations i feed the equation as well right let's say i want some parameter which is uh, an outcome of uh, some empirical equation so that also yeah. i can feed right yeah that i'll be telling uh, in a few minutes that i'll okay. be telling what are the how, how you will be adding the equations the script part i'll be telling how to to add the equations okay
uh, then we have a fin tube heat exchanger if you have any fins and if it is uh, attached with the uh, circular fins you can use this fin tube heat exchanger any other things by giving its heat transfer area what is its heat transfer total heat transfer area and what is its conversion coefficient you can use or and also you can we can we already have have some of the correlations inside that like Yerlinsky equation as well as the data folder equation to calculate the convective heat transfer coefficients so at least if you are like we have also shell and tube bit exchanger or various other things and we have a heat transfer parts like conduction convection radiations based upon your application you can use that then we have an inlets part over here and we have a mechanical part over a friction loss gearbox motor generator shaft part if the, for example if there is any turbine kind of coupled with the motor you can couple using by the shaft putting one shaft over here and uh, by linking with the couple with our turbine you can use these mechanical elements and then nodes and boundary conditions can be given in terms of a pressure temperature mass source as well as the volumetric flow boundary source over there then we have a nuclear part like we have a nuclear co a nuclear composite conductivity porous flow elements then we have a basic pipe elements like insulation pipe normal pipe basic pipes those things then we have a restrictors restrictors are mainly useful to model any valves or if there is any gap what i have say, uh, what i was saying in a, uh, during the, the presentation that gap to capture the proper uh, geometric build data for any valves gaps you'll be using this restrictor and we have some of the rotating components for the secondary flow path design or if you want to design any entire generators that can be done here using these elements and we have a turbo sand pumps like basic centrifugal pump uh, isometric uh, head compressor positive displacement compressor turbine variable speed pumps then we have a steam turbines like uh, high pressure steam turbine low pressure steam turbine turbine group efficiency way other things then we have a valves like basic valve check valve pressure relief valve controlling valve basic ANSI control valve you can also put the various curves per, uh, of the valve uh, in the as an input and we have alarms uh, and we have a like ANSI coupling for you can couple with the CFX fluent as well as the mechanical part and we have engineering question solver you can couple with and also excel workbook if you, if you have any like a, for example this is an excel workbook uh, if i go inside that this is an, a blank this one if you have any uh, any different uh, excel which is having some of the calculations or you want to give as a data transfer over here you can use this just to go to here this location and uh, paste your excel workbook over here and automatically that excel workbook will be applied here in these things and you can have the data transfer link using here and uh, uh, we have a exposures part and we have a mathcad opc client server relap scripting part uh, I, the, I was telling about uh, you are asking about uh, uh, how to create an equation here we have an example use this quick script art the script and quick script are the function is same in the script you need to do the coding in the c sharp but in the quick script no need to uh, no need of knowledge of having the, uh, knowing the c sharp just go inside and give the all the equations over and here you should write the formula what the formula you have then you go through give the input for example pressure is equal to rho gh here you can uh, write the pressure is equal to rho gh and you can give the density height value you want to vary the height you can vary here for example i need to change the input as a height and uh, i compile and check errors see here automatically that is uh, that has been changed and you can also give the what is the category name that can also be done example the here you can see now example results example results example results example results those can also be done and if you want to create anything like only example new here you can see other things can be done based upon your input based upon your output you can modify everything here and if it is an input you can give it as an input for example row is an input height is an input and uh, pressure is an output here you can change
yeah it's somewhere else but it's, it works we hear a different program has been used i have to change the same result as a pressure flow sir any doubts in adding the equation uh no i got it uh, yeah although partially but uh, you can move on uh, okay. at least we have got to know the capability that we can add and but this can this can be respective of uh, uh, let's say we can have the multi physics also right let's say i want to add equation uh, uh, for let's say magnetic field and all so we can in incorporate and uh, see analysis yeah you can give it as an input over here magnetic field analysis you can do sir you can do you can put any number of equations over here and okay. just create a network based upon the physics and geometrical parameters and based upon that you can have a data transfer link here based upon that whatever the data you need to transfer to any component you can okay. use here uh others if you have any query please ask browser uh, sony sir or we can just go ahead okay please complete your uh, demonstration okay. later on then i will we, uh, okay then we have a, a diagrams and the graphs various other things to plot the, some of the results for post processing we'll be using these things and we have a configuration like we have a designer setup optimizer setup as well as the sensitivity analysis setup this designer setup will be mainly helpful in optimizing any design for example i'll be telling you one simple example uh, this example i'll be creating a, now i'll be telling how to create how we'll be creating a network just a drag and drop here and uh, just use it link the link when uh, this dotted lines will be converted into solid line L like that you can model it for here and uh, you can put on boundary condition and you can give it over here around uh, initial pressure and you can give it as a mass source at the and I give it okay and here you should give as a, a fluids so what are the fluids you have yes uh, I have a small you. query here yeah, sorry yeah, to disturb yeah. you a uh, discretization yeah. how see accuracy it's like input and output okay you give some input yeah, you yeah, will get correct, the output correct, this correct. Per performance you will get to know but what about the accuracy how you control the discretization it means uh, accuracy yeah see there's uh, it is not like solving empirical equation it has to solve uh, over the space and time right so yeah you see the discretization uh, is there right number of increments and the number in parallel yeah. so number of you're not here. you are not uh, varying it so do you have any we can, dot? Hmm. We can vary this no, do you have any uh, data where you have matched some experimental uh, results like validation and all? Yeah, we have done some many uh, many projects regarding that. Okay, fine. Already Please we have go. done like, for example, we have uh, done like air to air cooler for one of the clients like a heat exchanger part. There we have matched with the, uh, we, we, uh, there we have matched with the, uh, this thing, experimental results and well uh, Flonex results. Then only they will accept this software. Okay, so what, what, what yeah. deviation in the result is how much? I mean, any parameter. No, any, two to, we any can parameter. achieve uh, yeah, deviation will be around two to three percent based upon the correlation. That's it. Yeah, two uh, to three percent is too small. Actually, <laughs> you're yeah. you're you're boasting too accurate results. But that's fine. No, no. It also depends yeah. on input. Uh, this one, the CFD, whatever the heat exchanger you will be doing here now. It will mainly depends upon what are the correlations you have used. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. 
we we have matched we have matched the correlation by using their data and book they have provided some of the input data and we have matched the results by this thing by by taking the accurate correlations okay. see this platform provides us a lot of flexibility and, and so gui is very uh, user friendly but but yeah. what i am worrying about is it's mainly used used for the overall system performance if i want yeah. to see in detail what's happening in at the component level how how will you do that means so for that those component level just you you, you need to describe each 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 is you need to describe the entire component yes okay here the, the, the here for example we here we have done a heat exchanger there we have uh, there it has around uh, 1000 tubes and we have discretized into small portion of that and we have been analyzed what the heat transfer is happening whether it is conduction convection or if there is any fluid radiation happening we'll be discretizing into each things and we'll be going moving moving and we'll be connecting all those things in a single these things then we'll be analyzing in a component level Okay, fine. Please uh, complete your further details. Okay. okay, I was telling about the designer setup. This will be very useful for you when you are designing something. For example, uh, here I will be solving now. Yeah, this is only the computational time. Based upon your complexity, it will take around one minute, two minutes, those things usually. If it is a small thing, it will take in a few, it will run in a few uh, these things. Then if you, if I want to de design anything, like uh, for example here, I have given a 2 kg per second and this will give as a 1 kg and 1 kg. Here you can see the total mass flow is around 1 kg. And I need to, I don't want this 1 kg. I need uh, different things. That's why I, need, I will be adding one uh, designer configuration and I'll be, I don't want, the, I'll be giving the target value. And I'll be giving around 0.9. And based upon the area, I want to vary the area. That is the diameter from 0.1 to 0 0.5. We can give a 0.1 to 0.5 here, and uh, the algorithm will be run, and uh, I'll be running that run design here. You can see number of iterations. Based upon that, the value will be changing here. Like this, you'll be you'll be getting all the value here, like based upon the your output and the input, all the results will be varied. Hello, sir. Any doubts in the designer thing? Hello. Uh, uh not really. Yuraj, I think we will yeah. we will I mean kind of uh, put the halt here and then we'll open for the queries so that our queries okay. are uh, will be will will get uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. satisfied. Okay, full cool. So uh, I'll just see uh, Rahul sir, uh, Sony sir, please. Uh, Ask you. Hello. Yeah, we are yes, hearing sir. you. Uh, no, no, I don't have. Theory. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah, it's good, good, nice presentation. Yeah, but the only thing is that my concern is related to the uh, mesh, mesh size of the mesh. Like, uh, should we control that or not? Is sir, this, uh, here the we, we don't do any mesh. Okay, okay. So here, discretization as it is a as it is a one D here will will be not doing any mesh. Okay, okay, okay. Then which kind of discretization is this? You run a finite volume well, method. You... Here we have used a finite volume method and implicit pressure algorithm we are using here. No, but uh, it depends. Like uh, then the solution accuracy is definitely depends on the uh, size of the element also, right? Because you are doing finite volume. 
yeah finite volume here we have to considered as a finite volume method and uh, along with we have using here a implicit pressure algorithm and we are, we are using a 1d cft tool there is no mesh work here we are using a implicit pressure algorithm based upon that algorithm uh, yeah, that is that is based upon that numerical method it is solving this problem okay, okay. and we have already we have uh, we have done so many projects for the iits and nits even iac what i have shown in the slide they are using this one x around 25 license they have and okay. uh, we have okay. done so many projects in that if you are worrying about the accuracy things we have done so yeah. many projects and it is a flonex is not only in, in, in any new software it is around uh, uh -huh. 10 years 15 years back okay 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 nice, nice. Yeah, all the things are really like very interesting, like because uh, almost uh, like related to the fluid and thermal, you are covering all all the aspects of fluid and yeah. thermal. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. The entire thermodynamics and uh, fluid dynamics can be done here. Yes. 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 So yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, if you have any part. query, we'll also be, if you have any projects regarding things, we'll also be providing service and uh, no need to uh, these things like no need to worry about the results. We'll, uh, we'll we can do here and and all and we are experienced with so many projects already. Okay. 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 Uh, fine. I have few more queries. Uh, can I ask yeah. you guys right now? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. See, uh, regarding the system or um, component failure, right? Uh, which which input you need because you have to specify the components properly. Then only you can predict the failure, right? Yeah. So it is basically input based uh, uh, system analysis, right? You have to know your you have to yeah. know your components properly. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Okay, so what what do you mean by uh, prediction of failure? Like, uh, is it kind of a reliability uh, that you are uh, testing or safety also? Uh, safety means what are the parameters it depends upon the safety we can calculate over that for example if it is a power overshoot if, if there is any trump for example if there is any pump trip mm. and uh, whether it whether it uh, to whether it affects those pump when it backs pressure that pressure can be calculated if it is exceeded means we can we can say that it is some failure is happening over here and mm -hmm. it is uh, these things uh, it is an, uh, a danger for the pump like that okay. of course this is qualitative because we haven't seen and we in a given time it cannot be seen so i was just uh, seeing the capability of like uh, regarding the safety or the reliability so yeah. the next it's, question is what computational <clears throat> power or capacity is required yeah. let's say i want to run this in my machine laptop yeah, or you need uh, around let me see 8 gb ram I, I am using 8 gb ram it is running fine but uh, it is suggestible to use 16 gb ram okay, okay. Fine. now my next question is like uh, you have shown the coupling with different yeah. other softwares so do I export it in any other format, which is like a standalone and you can carry and export it and open it or no, you no, have no, to. No. For coupling oh. part, uh, you, you, for coupling part, you, you should, be, uh, you can couple by using this for whatever you have created here in the Flonex, mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. result you can give as an input to the ANSYS. No, that is what yeah. I'm interested in knowing how you give yeah. the, how you give this input, like how you feed it to ANSYS. Is it like you have to run ANSYS parallelly or you... Yeah, run, you can, you should run ANSYS parallel. So basically you have to have those softwares in your machine so that you can yeah, uh, run across it. Okay. Correct, correct. I was thinking that there is a, a different file format and you can open no, it. No, like no. you can save it to, to the respective file format and open it there. Let's say for ANSYS. No, no. When, no, let's say for, for the results. No, you should have a parallel, it should be running and you can mm -hmm. see the, all the results in the ANSYS meanwhile. Okay, so uh, I see few softwares are missing. So are, are you working on different other softwares to uh, couple? Maybe console yeah, okay. or... No, console, we are not. This is the what we have right now for API. 
okay we can integrate uh, you can also integrate with the microsoft excel like for example recently we have done for uh, yeah. different industries they are uh, there uh, because they don't want to need another person to learn the phonics there okay. they just uh, they are uh, we have done everything to there and based upon the simple program and we have integrated we have given him the uh, one excel sheet along with the uh, this phonics project he, he will run by changing the inputs and he will run in the excel sheet it's automatically the phonics will be run at the background and mm. he, uh, all the results will be getting in the excel sheet itself okay and what about uh, um, like uh, uh, seeing the results uh, in a in a video format okay if i want yeah. to let's say present uh, to students or maybe some you can record for you can record we can re we can record some of those simulations here we have an option called recording graph in the video and okay. you can run the transient analysis also we may, you can vary okay so basically uh, the results or the reporting can happen through uh, different formats like uh, 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 video no. or plotting a graph plotting a graph and uh, also like here csv only. everything graph, everything everything here, here. but how we export yes. it let's say i want to export it in uh, further uh, process process it right so i can do that right yeah for example here for example i'll add on one uh, graph here and uh, for example i'll add one graph and right click and uh, you can save as a csv as well as a show point values you can take yeah. all the values in the csv file that is okay. that's what that's what i wanted to okay, because we can further process the data okay and also uh, you yeah, yeah I, i'll be telling how what are the results you'll be getting like you'll be getting direct in the see these are the results like what is mean temperature total pressure once you solve the, once you solve the network you'll be getting what is the wall shear stress what is its reynolds number everything you'll be getting in, in direct okay but how how do you see this 1d uh, approach when it is uh, uh, when it is comparing the uh, performance of uh, really 3d uh, 3d system 3D is basically on the component level. It will be helpful in the component level to understand the component level. This will be very helpful in uh, uh, this thing in a system level component where you will be creating the entire network it can be created and uh, this computational time is very less here. And uh, you will be getting you can do the hundred number of iterations in a day and you will be the, those things, those times will be saved here. And uh, for the design optimization also I have showed. If you if you are uh, thinking about some output Output. and uh, for that output you need to some design no need to change each and parameter like for example diameter 0 0.1 0 0.2 you no need to do that and receive the results just give it over here the target value and see give some range automatically that algorithm will be solved at the background and you'll be getting the result optimum yeah. result for the your output given now true true uh yuras let me interrupt you because we have got uh, uh, the other assignments uh, starting at 2 so uh, thank sir, you very much for your demonstration sir one minute uh, sir yeah. one minute i am yes. rk irani chairman director india soft okay first only one question i have got sir did you find the product and the product useful for vnit sir of course of course we are looking forward as i said by my colleague uh, we are uh, actually we are amused to see the capability like it is flexible uh, right. to give inputs and all and for yes. overall performance of the system it's really useful uh, right. although see, i see one one problem you is value, see, you see value in the product in your college of course of course we are looking right. forward so we will yeah. we will like to have the quotation and the other things uh, i will communicate with uh, uh, hod and so let, you, let yeah. you okay okay yeah. thank I you very much touch. yeah I, sure. my colleague soeb will get in touch with you doctor yes sure sure sir. thanks a million thanks a million and yeah, any thanks for your demonstration yes yeah, sure we will ask uh, we will discuss and we will uh, see surely we will have some further queries so we will communicate welcome. with you okay welcome doctor yeah. if you want i can even arrange for you if you are planning to buy in a short short period of time i can okay. even arrange for a 15 day license for you doctor that would be very useful sir ah, because sir, we sir, can sir, get sir, we, You have to be in the buying phase. Yeah. If Baba Malak ye bagay se bagit la, ata pat la, I will, I can go for it because you know, sir. Yeah, I can understand. Yeah, I can understand. 
yeah yeah sure sure so you so you are based in pune so we uh, i mean no uh, the the communication would not be a problem we can no, no, have not a, at all sir yeah yeah today uh, so today fortunately yeah. so many resources are available that uh, even if i am in timbuktu the communication is not a problem doctor yeah 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 that is true that is true so uh, in nutshell thank you very much for your demonstration uh, of course uh, sky is the limit so we can think of using this uh, software or the platform you, for our you, fruitful research and teaching yes now that's why yeah. i was coming down to you exactly took the words out of my mouth doctor yes, there is yes. a bundle available for research and then users for students also yes. we will come to the commercial center doctor yes sure sir i will yeah. get back to you in this regard sure sir sure sir uh, we are delighted to have have your demonstration and know more about this product uh, Great. so with this with this i would like to uh, conclude today's session and of course uh, i will i will update on this uh, further okay after discussion with my colleagues yes doctor yeah doctor has said yes yes doctor professor soni yes 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 yeah, actually, it, it was a good demonstration actually uh, we will see what, what can we do with this software sure sure we will explore much uh, uh, on this we'll discuss what what else we can do and what is the utility really what is the utility uh, in our institute considering uh, different stakeholders okay uh, not only the faculty we can think of uh, research and teaching and the students also and depending upon their like concession with the li number of licenses and all we can think of uh, other other uh, possibilities yes sure sure yeah and also we can arrange if you have anything in your application we can specific again arrange demo for your one application yeah 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 sure yeah so thank you very much uh, yes, should i conclude today's uh, session yes doctor thank you yeah. we will get in thank touch you. with you doctor sure sure bye -bye. thank you very have much nice bye bye have a nice, have a nice day. day thanks for your time doctor yeah. bye bye yeah thank you all thank you thank bye, -bye. bye. कंटिन्यूस रूप मध्य ज्यादा मी प्रयत्न करतो की गुण मैन्यू